Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and uh, well, let's get back into um, let's get back into into the third Lost Belt, China, and synchronized intellect, intellectual nation, whatever you want to call it. So let's get into it. And in this first one, we're going to be doing going to be a fight against apparently a saber. I might need to move from this uh, location soon because uh, apparently there's going to be a, a baseball game going on. I guess I see some people looking, around, going around, you know, just, you know, just hanging around, getting ready to, you know, set up uh, seating areas and stuff like that. Plus, I'm like, you know, where I'm at is pretty much dead center field. I'm like a, I'm like in the, what I would what we consider the center field bleachers. <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm on a park bench, like a good distance away, which means if I get hit by something, if I can, if I see a ball coming at me, I'm gonna be running like hell. Then again, I don't think a lot of these people can hit a ball this far. I mean, they're they're young, they're young, they're young kids. So, <laughs> and then again, you never know. Anyway, let me put on my other headphone here. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> Do I need to change the... Yeah, I need to change this. Okay, guess seven is Neza. So, that means I'm not going to be using anyone. Okay. Oh, wow. Set and wash this. Oh. Put, oh, God. This, this is a saber. It's going to tear Neza apart. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, let's, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna need to do some. Find the imaginary element. And we fight the Ortonax, so. Can I use this one? Or is it not allowed? Ah, uh, I can only use the Ortonax, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if I could be able to use. If that'd be a good one to use with her. Hmm. <sighs> Third Lost Belt. There we go. Get up and move. <laughs> oh, okay. Say so you thought you had a dream. Oh, let, me let me restart that. You say you thought you had a dream? That might have been some kind of sign? And that absurd reason is you're drinking po poison from a chalice? So you think it's foolish too, huh? My wife said the same thing. His Imperial Majesty himself gave me this poison. 
All I need to do is drain a single gulp, and I'll displease him no more. I have seen too many for, for one in my position. You might say I've outlived my usefulness. I don't understand. None of this would have happened if not for how petty the Emperor is. How can you be willing to lay down your life for a man like that? <sighs> King Shi Huang. Or Shi Huang Di. You may not see any sense in it, but this is simply what it means to be a warrior. Once I heard you were going to die, I had to come and ask. No, 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 no. Let me, rest let me restart that again. Once I heard you were going to die, I had to come and ask. Say the word, and I will see everyone who toyed with you with your destiny, who forced this hollow loyalty upon you, drown in a sea of their own blood. <laughs> I'm honored you are so angry on my behalf. It's more than I deserve. And I will admit that I do that I do have my share of regrets. But at this point, I've truly become to believe this is a fitting end to the life of Gao Shangong. I don't understand. The way you talk of life and death makes no sense whatsoever. But then, I, but then, I suppose I can never understand, as death is a concept that's never had meaning to me. Well, yes, that's true, isn't it? Perhaps if anything, I should be the one begging you for forgiveness. After all the peace, after all, the peace I'll attain in, your, in death will be forever beyond your reach. Perhaps I'm jealous. Jealous of your death and of the brilliance of your life and leading up to it. You are too kind, I assure you. I know no more death secrets than you do. Even should I learn them now, they will soon be lost to darkness. Do you have any last? W do you have any last wishes? Good question. If I could wish for something beyond my own death, it would be it would be to someday see you again. I suppose such a wish must, send, must sound completely absurd. Not necessarily. I have seen the likes of you ra shatter more daunting barriers. I have seen them tame lightning cure. Pl I have seen them tame lightning, cure plagues, and even change the course of rivers. I can't say how long it will take, but... Eventually the day may come when, when those bound by, mor by moral lives learn to reach beyond even death. So such a day come to pass, and if I am lucky enough to be there to see it, then I shall recall your final wish. Ah, uh, you don't know. Ah, uh, you don't know how many happy I am to hear that. In all my 33 years of life, there is nothing I've treasured more than your presence. Ah. Okay, I'm away from that area. Okay, so we're now officially la officially landing in China, Lost Belt, China. Reality space anchor attached. Reality verification complete. Property human history resemblance, a Lost Belt depth. No. Property human history resemblance A, Lost Belt depth E. Establishing shadow border's existence within Lost Belt. Did you say will turn successful? I'm glad you had another emergency that went so smoothly. How are you feeling, Senpai? I know the poison isn't causing any pain right now, but also you're not feeling entirely yourself. 
I'm fine. Just a little short of breath is all. <laughs> so cold symptoms are the worst of it for you. Are they? Must be nice. I'll have you know, I always, I used to have asthma when I was a young lad. Ah, <laughs> uh, you too, huh, Gordolf? But after I read the memoirs of a great bodybuilder, actor, and politician, who once suffered from the same disease, bodybuilder, actor, politician, nah, 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 he can't be. No, no, no. As far as I know, he never, he doesn't have it. I followed his example and overcame it with rigorous training. Though sadly I don't have his muscle to show for it. My point, young lady, is that all you need is, gr is gumption. There's no time to let your fears get the better of you. <sighs> I must say, it's almost encouraged to see our commander in our so energetic despite his poisoning. Yep, we still got plenty of time to find a cure. And Gordy's a mace, so he's pretty well accustomed to dire threats like this. Now let's see what things look like outside. Full. 18 degrees Celsius, 30% humidity, gentle breeze, no you no unusual magical energy readings. I'm looking out the window right now, and it looks like a field. I gotta say, I'm almost creeped out by how normal it looks it seems here compared to the other two lost belts. I'm not quite sure how to make of it. Are there any hostels outside? Hmm, not according to our instruments, so it looks it's like it's safe. Why don't we all go all go see for ourselves? Oh, it's nighttime. Is this really the Chinese lost belt? Boom. Latitude allows you don't lie. We're staying at 32 degrees, 42 degrees north, 110 degrees, 50 degrees. 50 degrees east. Oh no, 32 degrees, 40 foot north. 110 degrees, 50 foot east. In proper human history, this would be Xi. This would be Xi'an, a major city within a with a population of 3.4 million people. Well, this is certainly not a city, but it doesn't look like un, but it doesn't but doesn't look like untamed wilderness either. Perhaps it's a wheat field or the like. And really, it would be an ex, extraordinarily large one. I recognize the smell in the air here. This is my homeland. And yet, I have no memory of this. No memory of this strange landscape. How confusing and depressing. It seems I am useless as a guide for you after all. Hey, don't worry about it. All bets are off when it comes to lost belts. Perhaps, besides, we have a much bigger role for you to play in than just a guide. For the moment, I picked up a ley line, only a kilometer or so away from here. Between that and how surprisingly safe this area looks to be, I'd say we're off to a pretty good start. Now, what do you say we take the shadow border over to the ley line and set up a summoning circle? Got it. I'll go up with the engine then. You can never be too prepared for combat in these lost belts. <clears throat> okay, the ley line's right around that well. Go ahead and park it here. It certainly doesn't look like a dangerous area, but something fe but something feels off. True, if anything's too peaceful. And considering how expansive this farmland is, it's weird they haven't seen a single piece of arc arc agricultural machinery. The buildings here seem a little crude, too. Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like them before. Though I guess you could say they kind of look like co collective housing. You mean like an apartment building? That's right. Although I'm not sure the I'm not sure building is the right word for that. Um, structure? All that ground, all that ground they leveled, and they still and they're still living in holes. It's like something out of the Stone Age. Maybe civilization never really developed in this world. Oh, there's some people headed this way. So I try talking to them? Yes, but do be careful. I doubt they pose any threat to us. But we cannot afford being seen as a threat as a threat either. What the Who the hell are these people? 
But what are they doing in our field? Look at their weird clothes. Do you think they might be foreigners? Foreigners? Here? Does that mean they came from that strange storm then? Uh, hurry up and call the supervisor. Maybe he'll know what to do. Oh! Boo! Oh. At least the translators came to be working fine. But at least the translators seem to be working fine. According to linguistic analysis, they're speaking Middle Chinese, a language that predates the Song Dynasty. Conversation is a good st is a good starting point. However, we have frightened them. This pattern is not good. Hey, did you really see? Did you really see foreigners? Yeah, they're right over there. See for yourself, supervisor. They just popped up in my field out of nowhere. They are riding around that weird box. They wear really strange clothes. I think they've got weapons, too. Aw, oh, crap. I don't like where this is going. So, Arya, help us out here before things turn violent. Tell them this is all just a big misunderstanding. If home tries to explain, it will just make things worse. Hmm? What's wrong with my explanations? We mean you no harm. Ah! She talked. If you don't mean any harm, then why do you show show up in the middle of the field dressed like that? Go on, supervisor. Get rid of them for, for us before they ruin any more wheat. You got it. They've all taken up weapons. Now what do we do? Fo 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 fo. Hmm. Seems like their rather bare bones lifestyle has not lent itself to open minds. I'm afraid we'll need to pacify them before we can begin negotiations. Is now really a time for detached analysis, Holmes? Can't you just charm on them or something? Gordy's the one only one who can use charm spells. Well, he says he can anyway. And even then, he's telling it, and even if he's telling the truth, he's still comfortably holed up inside the border right now. He best summon a servant with a power of innate charm skill that will require access to the ley line, which we don't yet have. Though seem we cannot avoid this battle. Fortunately, our opponents should be willing to listen once they get this out of their system. While this world may, would be an ideal situation for my Baritsu, I'm afraid I will have to sit this one out. Chicken! Oh, right. You still haven't fully recovered yet. I guess we've got no choice then. Nash, Mosh, Neza, go and fight them as a, if that's what they want. Just make sure not to harm any of them. Understood. I also would like to avoid excessive force. I will be careful. Yes, we'll do as great as great gentlemen do. In the true spirit of Baritsu. So we're just fighting villagers. That's good. At least it wasn't the saber in this lost belt. <clears throat> what I wanted to try and summon, but I haven't yet. What level is Neza anyway? Oh, he, oh, level it's level eighty. That's not bad. Okay.
Okay, that wasn't too bad. So you've gone to a fight almost the instant you left the border. Yes, I'm afraid we ended up in a standoff with the, with the locals. At least we got them back down for now. Got them to back down for now. Oh, thanks to your, your and Neza's efforts not to harm them, they do appear to understand that our intentions are not, well, are not violent now. They're currently monitoring us from what I suppose they consider a safe distance. Seems they have their own responsibilities to attend to. Correct. No signs of reinforcements. We are safe for the moment. Hmm, I see. So you managed to avoid provoking them. I'm relieved to hear that they're sharp enough to realize that we're only just tr we're only lost travelers trying to get our bearings. Although, what about the servants? You said we can summon more once we're able to use a ley line, right? Da Vinci's outside preparing a summoning circle right now. I think she's running into some kind of trouble, though. Hey, guys. I'm setting everything up right now. Just give me a minute to work out the kinks. Sure, I ran into a little trouble, but don't worry. It's the kind I'm used to. Hey, Da Vinci. Are you sure it's okay to hook, to hook this weird machine up to Masha's shield? It looks, super, it looks super shady. In fact, it doesn't look like it was made on Earth. Oh, right. That's the booster seal let me. Get this, a single one lets you manifest a spirit origin equivalent to three servants. She called it a, a whatchamacallit cell? Unfortunately, they burn out after a single use. But I can be stingy with Solaria and Gordy's lies at stake. Alright, now we just stand by in, in, in base state. And as soon as we get a response from the servant side, I'll kick it into an excited state and so we can start the summoning. There we go. Now it's just a matter of time. As long as the servant has some connection to you, Solaria. <laughs> as long as someone has some connection to you, Solaria, I'm sure they'll answer the summon. Lost bell or not. Hmm, I see. Well done, technical advisor. In that case, you can start by summoning a skilled cash cable of brainwashing these barbarians and moths. This is an emergency, an urgent one at that. We need to start making progress post-haste. Fofo. Are you right with that course of action, Miss Laria? Easy there, Director. Let's just calm down. Calm down? How about calm down and I'll be dead in a matter of days? And have you forgotten this concerns you too? Regardless, something will take time. It will be in our best interest to negotiate with that pro while that proceeds. Sometimes, let's go off. There's something to be said for not letting sleeping dogs lie. All right then, who's going to who's going to lead these amicable negotiations? So I already tried and failed, remember? Who are we going to find an angel with a small cherubic enough to win over those barbarian? Hmm? <laughs> Gee, I wonder who just got. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're just poor, hapless travelers who lost their who lost our way. Oh, you poor thing! That must have been so hard. We didn't mean to ruin your field. I promise. Do you think you'd forgive us? Oh, don't worry about that. We can always till it again. Hell, just getting back to such a pretty girl, just getting to talk to such a pretty girl as you, kind of makes me. Makes me, makes me want to till the field again more than ever. Oh, the bitch really is a force to be reckoned with, isn't she? She's not technically lying, but she's not exactly being truthful either. She's that demon, she's a demon with the face of an angel. Hm. So look at those men falling over themselves. That outsider's got them twisted around her little finger. How could they be possibly be? trust any of those foreigners after the bean they gave the poor supervisors. Aha! 
I do beg your pardon about that, madam. Please, I'm going to apologize for trampling on your fields as well. I only hope you can believe me when I say that we truly do nothing more than do want nothing more than to resolve this matter peacefully. Unfortunately, the truth is that we have lost our way and are uncertain as to where we are. I am so terribly sorry to impose, but could you please tell us about this place? You are our only hope. Well, we are? Hehe. <laughs> well, then I guess we um ought to step up. True, true. I mean, if a man is this handsome, needs our help. The least you can do is hear him out, right? Bo? Well, Holmes has his looks, if nothing else. Agreed. I do not know why we fought earlier. Well, uh, the important thing is that we've reached a peaceful resolution. It looks like they were all just scared more than malicious. They seem to be good people at heart. By the way, Da Vinci, what was the trouble you ran into with the spirit origin graph earlier? An excellent question, Holmes. Glad to see your, your, glad to see you paying attention to the important bits. What? I thought you already resolved the issue with it so, with summoning servants. <sighs> less involved and more worked around. Less less resolved and more worked around. I still don't know what the peop, what the problem really was. This lost ball is nothing like other Russia or Scandinavia. I tried to use the ley line here to connect to this lost ball throne of heroes, but I didn't get any response. None whatsoever. There are nothing more. There, there, there was nothing wrong with our equipment. So whatever the problem is, it has something to do with this world. Granted, the odds are, were always low that that a heroic spirit that from this lost ball was going to be eager to help us. So I wasn't counting on that. But still odd that there would be no answer at all, right, Holmes? Indeed. So I just dropped that idea and switched back to trying to summon this Chaldea spirit origin graph. Now we're just waiting for a heroic spirit to respond to our call. In fishing, in fishing terms, we pay our hook and cast our line. All there is to do now is to be patient. What could be going on, Senpai? I have no idea. Honestly, even though my genius once again carried the day, I really don't know what happened here. Happened there. Bo bo. What I know, what I do know, is that the connection to the throne of heroes is just that is just that a connection. And it doesn't exist in the Lost Bells ley line. In this Lost Bells ley line, it can also be that our definition of what a heroic spirit is doesn't match this Lost Bells definition of heroic spirit. Right, what does that mean by that? This is a fascinating phenomenon, one that no doubt gets to the heart of this Lost Belt's true nature. But right now, we have nothing more than speculation. We'll need to collect more evidence before we can begin drawing any conclusions. Oh? That sounds to me like you already have a pretty good idea of what's going on, Holmes. I do have a hypothesis. But a good uh, detective always shares their deductions was supported by clear and undeniable evidence. So we're going back to the main... Yeah, we're going back to the main screen. Okay, so... Apparently we are... Okay, what are we getting there? Huh. Oh, the new... Oh, that's the new... That's the new, uh, what we call it, the new, well, the new, uh, Ascension items. So that'll be the next video. Until next time, it was all Jay saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves.